All right, so here she is with the trailer. I got this roller weight. It fell off. I know it's supposed to be on there. Normally it is, but it must have pushed back at some point. But um, this is an old, like, 1973 trailer I bought for, like, 150 bucks. Stripped it all down, and this is how I do it. I run 3-inch PVC, and as you can see, it just fits right in the grooves. And um, so I took... It's 3-inch, not PVC, I'm sorry. It's electrical conduit. And I took, I don't know how well the sun's like beating down on us here, but so I took, uh, you can see the three inch sits right in the grooves, lays perfect on the boat. And I took uni strut, so it's also electrical uni strut here. And uh, just use a little U bolt here, bolted it down the trailer, real, real tight. You can see it's got even a bend in it, it's not going anywhere. I'd never had a problem with shaking, and then it just, uh, you know, I'm trying to get a good look here. You can see it just sits right in the groove. Like bunks on a trailer. Super cheap to do uh, two 10 foot sections of it. Sits really well on the trailer. Um, the whole, I did new wiring, LED. I bought these from a truck stop actually. These are semi lights, super bright LEDs. Did my own wiring, rewired all the lights, that good stuff. Got the spare tire underneath here, running lights. I'm trying to see right here, I think is where. I I actually used a uh, heavy duty extension cord to do all the wiring that way. It's going to be super resistant. Welded on the little jack thing and then keep it locked. Four prong looks fits in my car. That's the best way I've found to, to do this. This was my Hobie Kite trailer and I just widened out the uh, PVC pipes. I know you guys... Some of you guys run boards on it. Um, I just worry about them, even though they're marine grade rotting and replacing the carpet over time. Uh, these do no damage to the to the boat. Slides on on and off super easy. So that's how I do the trailer.